Hey what's up guys, I am Noah Tandy, and welcome to a new video. I will be talking about the Nintendo Switch memory. I may sound a little sick, but that's because of the allergies and the storm that just came by. So, I will do my best to give you a good quality video of the news. So what I'm going to talk about is how the Nintendo Switch memory is very small compared to what the Switch games provide. And so, what I'm reading right now, Nintendo Switch's 32 gigabyte storage, you're only allowed to use 25.9 gigabytes of it, considering there are already installations that Nintendo has put in it to where, well, it takes up some storage. And so there's only 25.9 gigabytes now. What makes it worse is that the Switch games, they have a lot of storage depending on what you get, like The Legend of Zelda, that's 32 gigabytes. Now think about it. 32 gigabytes minus 29 or 25.9 that's 6.1 extra gigabytes you need to have Legend of Zelda so does that mean we need to get the extra SD card that has well I think like 500 gigabytes probably I think Nintendo is setting up so they could get more money this is ridiculous they've been behind in storage and a lot of different electronic components I'm not trying to make this a rant but this is a little frustrating for a lot of Nintendo fans because it means that they have to buy more in order to supply more for their own system. So right on the screen, as you can see, are the games and how much storage they take up. Now we're going back to the Wii and the Wii U. They already had small storages, so we're just repeating this process again apparently. And so as you can see, I was wrong about the Zelda is 13.4 gigabytes, still a lot of gigabytes. Um, but what was 32 was Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2. And that's two games, and I think that's two games, and so that's 32 gigabytes. That's a lot of storage, and that takes up more than what it already provides, because remember, 25.9 instead of 32. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe takes up 7 gigabytes because of the DLC and the game itself. Um, that Japanese game that I don't know what it says, it's 5 gigabytes. Super Bomberman R is 4, that's not too bad, but still, if you want all these games, you're really not in a good position because you need to get more storage, like seriously. The Tetris is only 1.09 gigabytes, which isn't too bad, so is Snipper Clips and I Am Setsuna. All of those games don't have too much storage. But it's good to just have separate storage ready, like that card, whatever that SD card is, and be ready to use it. But also putting that into perspective, there are more games coming out, a lot more games coming out actually later on. That's going to require a lot more storage, and it's going to force you to buy more and more storage, like cards and stuff. I don't understand why Nintendo is still doing this. They've always done these types of things. So... Well, this is the end of the video, and I just want to say, well, we need to just be careful about what we use our Nintendo storage on, and what we can just get the games that we want the most, or we really just could get that SD card. So, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your views. Sorry if this was a low quality, or just it was a little distracting with my voice, or if I got some facts wrong. It's just what I remember, and what I'm looking at right now. So... I am Noah Tandy, and I will see you guys later.